I don't mind. I'm actually, uh, I'm from Sydney, so I'm actually traveling at the moment. And just before I left, uh, I actually had my wisdom teeth out. And um, it was an issue that I was asking my orthodontist and my dentist, like, is this something that I have to do? Is it dietary? I've seen a bit of um, Western Price stuff. And it was, I was very curious. It didn't make any logical sense that, well, what did the people do hundreds of thousands of years ago? Um, but now we've got this issue. So it just it didn't feel right. But I had them out because that's what everyone does and you do that. Um, are you saying that with, possibly with exercises that could have, I might not have had to have that happen? I, I, I'm saying that for certainty, if you'd had a tough diet and you didn't have um, a change in your um, tongue and jaw posture from birth, yes, that wouldn't have happened at all. Whether you could have changed it when you were in your late teens, early 20s, well, I, I don't know. I've struggled to change people in those periods. People have come to me and I've treated a few of them. Some I've got some good results in, but it depends on their dedication, as you could imagine. You know, I'm not treating these individuals, they're doing it themselves. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Um, with the uh, things like braces and uh, losing teeth, could you do this stuff after to, um, to still help it, help problems with the, the face and still do it after or even you mean while so you have could, could I help people who have had braces and teeth extracted? Already, yeah. I, it's limited. Limited. Well, the best advice is keep your lips closed. Put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. I mean, you've uh, obviously had teeth taken out. Uh, yeah, and I just had uh, braces like about six months ago. I just got them off. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a big fan of braces. I mean... No, I love was I. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> the older you are, the better with this. Yeah, because I've yeah. got a little brother who's just about to... He just had a tooth out, and he's just about to get him. So I'm like, shall I go like, stop? I mean, I don't agree with it. I mean, but... Sometimes you've got to be realistic, though. Yeah. Um, my treatment window is seven to nine years old. You know, okay. I'm assuming your brother's going to be considerably older than that. Uh, he's 11. Mm. So, just yeah. a bit. Old. You know, I, I, I don't really like treating people. I get lots of people who come to see me because they're facing with extractions, and they say, please, can you do something? And I go, well, you know, I can't wind the clock back. I've got to, if I'm going to affect growth, I need growth. Yes, we can all change at a later age, but it's not growth. It's not nearly as easy. Growth, go with the growth. Yeah. Shall we get one over here for a second? Uh, you said um, teeth together in general. Does that mean to have a clenched jaw because I was always, because you no, lots of things. No, very much not to have a clenched jaw. And that's why, as I was saying teeth together, I came in with that extra caveat of saying, warning people who have, or just asking people who tend to clench and saying to them, what you need to do is you set up this, in fact, we well, should all set up this balance. Your tongue should be pushing up on the roof of your mouth as your teeth bite together. Just in the same way as I'm not about to fall over because my quads and my glutes are out of balance. They're an antagonistic pairing that without my thought are balancing me. However, when I first took my first few steps, I was pretty tricky. I wasn't very good with that. I would have staggered around. Now I do it easily. But when I first took my first steps, my mouth was open because I had an allergy. So my tongue didn't program with my jaw biting muscles to become an antagonistic pair. You have to try to program that so that your teeth are just very lightly together with your jaw and your tongue balancing each other. And they will then take over. But it's a very difficult thing to get it in your head. You know, if I could plug you in like they do in Matrix and upload a good tongue function pattern, I think I could get you all to grow fantastically.
And when you were making reference to Michael Caine, you, you, you mentioned that he looks better as he's got older because I'm of not confidence. Not necessarily better, but I think his facial dimension has changed for the positive. Um, and you mentioned confidence being a factor. Um, how particularly will, can confidence affect your facial structure? As you You're going out my subject. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to comment on what I don't know. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, so the guy here was waiting. Okay. Um, so if you pass that treatment window of seven to nine, if you're in you know twenties, thirties, whatever, um, is it possible to reverse the effects of the long face, or is it rather getting those proper posture habits is more stopping it getting longer? Well, this is a very interesting question because I think that the top jaw, the maxilla, acts as a little bit of a keystone. If you look at any other joint in my body, I've got quite a wide range of movement. So if someone tells me to stand up straight, I physically can move every bone in my body till it's in the correct position. But you can't move your maxilla, and your maxilla is set back and down. If you can't move your maxilla, it's then squashed in a limited space between your now upright head and your maxilla. And that doesn't feel comfortable. Well, we're creatures of comfort. So pretty soon, the emphasis in your groin is to go back into a bad posture because your breathing is more important and a comfortable breathing is more important than a comfortable body. Yes? So you force it out of the way. Now, I will be looking to treat adults and trying to affect adults. It's the limiting of how much because when I do this treatment on kids, I, ha it's not, I can't do part treatment. I have to go the whole hog. Now, for adults, I can't go the whole hog because I couldn't do that strange position that I put the kids into and recover it. I'd mess them up. So I have to look at a more limited version of what I can do. So I will be looking at adults. But in the meantime, the, the most simple thing is lips together, teeth together, tongue on the roof of your mouth. The problem often is there's not enough space in your top jaw to fit your tongue, which would come back to your question, what could you do now? Well, if there's a restricted space, not only is there a restricted space, but your face is longer, so the top jaw's further down towards where the tongue is, then, well, it's very hard to maintain a posture that's really uncomfortable. And it's like pushing this proverbial stone up a hill. If you get it over the top, you're away. If you're stuck halfway up, at some point it's going to slip south. But, like I say, work on it. You know, you can work on it. I mean, probably no one tells you to stand up straight, shut your mouth. It's just not, it seems to be one of the old things that were forgotten. It's almost like you're not allowed to say it because it's um, telling people what to do. Anyway, guys, you've been a great audience. Thank yeah, you very much uh, indeed. Mike, I, one, hmm? one final question here. Uh, right. Sorry to interject. Um, you may have covered it. I may have missed it. If I did, I apologize. Gum chewing. Five-second opinion on it? Chewing gum? Fantastic, yeah. I think you should spend hours a day chewing gum. In fact, my problem with gum is it's too soft. We've been asking gum manufacturers to come up with gum. Literally, we have spent thousands of hours on this, trying to get gum manufacturers to come up with tough gum. They say, if you want, we'll make you a batch. You'll have to pay for it. And I think batches are a minimum of five tons, which is over a lorry load. Um, and it's just it's not something we can look to do. But, and they tell us everyone wants softer chewing gum. Why would we make harder chewing gum? Well, everyone's heading south. What do you think's going on? Everyone's going to a poor diet. Everyone's getting crooked at teeth. And it's happening year by year. Just look, your parents didn't need so much tooth straightening. Your grandparents hardly needed any tooth straightening. It's happening fast, it's changing quickly. And all of the associated things that are happening with them. The sleep apnea has come out of nowhere. It's going to be a big thing. You'll hear it a lot within the next 10 years. Um, so, chew gum, yeah. Chew gum and smile. What's the investment of the batch? Hmm? What's the investment of the batch? Sorry, I don't know. What's the investment? What how much does the batch cost? The amount? Oh, how, well, well, I couldn't remember exactly, but it was way too much. It was something like 100,000 pounds they wanted out of us to, to commence in experiments and do this sort of thing. And we were just, no way. Okay, guys, you've been a fantastic audience. Thank you very much indeed. I hope that was educational.